Okay, so remember now to get the equation of the tangent, to get an equation, we need a um, point okay, on that tangent and the gradient of that tangent. So you tell us x is 4, we need to work out what y is, yeah? We need to work out what y is so we actually get a coordinate. So if I just sub it in there, when x is 4, y would equal to 5 times 4 squared minus 20 times 4, okay? So... And I get out to be oh, zero. Okay, so my sketch is just a sketch. It's not important. Okay, but it actually comes out to be zero when x is four. Yeah. Okay. So my point is when it goes through is four zero. Now I need the gradient. To get the gradient, we look at the gradient of the curve. Yeah, because the gradient of the tangent will be identical to the gradient of the curve at this particular point. So to get the gradient of the um, curve. I need the gradient function, so dy dx, okay? So dy dx here um, will be, we we'll differentiate this, bring the 2 down, so I get 10x, and minus 20x becomes minus 20. So when x is equal to 4, dy dx will equal to 10 times 4, take away 20. That just works out to be 20. So that's the gradient, okay, that we need. So then the equation will be y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So sub in that point. So y, take away, well, x, uh, y is 0, isn't it? The point there. Um, gradient is 20. x is 4. x1 is 4. So we've got my x1, y1, my gradient is 20. So we've got y equals 20x minus 80. We need to get in that form. So I'll keep the 20x where it is. Make it equal to zero, bring the y over, it becomes minus y, and then I've got minus 80. So my answer is 20x minus y minus 80 equals zero.